Seven Days Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. All right. First and foremost, let's get right down to the smoke. The woman pictured to your left is Vanessa Bryant, Kobe Bryant's uh, late wife. Uh, and uh, the man pictured to your right is Dr. Umar Johnson. Okay. Uh, I'm a fan of Dr. Umar Johnson. I agree with lots of what he says. Uh, maybe 85% of what he says, I agree with, you know, I me mean, as it relates to black people. However, I totally disagree with Dr. Umar Johnson on this particular subject because Dr. Umar is being greedy and he's being entitled like most bum ninjas are. All right. Dr. Umar feels that Vanessa Bryant, Kobe Bryant's wife now, Kobe Bryant is deceased. Uh, him and his daughter passed away in a um, uh, helicopter crash, leaving his wife and other daughter alone. Now, Dr. Umar feels that Vanessa Bryant, Kobe Bryant's wife, should be sharing the wealth. She should be taking Kobe's money and giving it to the black community. Okay, um, I'm I'm totally disgusted by that notion. For one, who are you to determine what somebody else should be doing with their money? Okay, right? You can't you 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 have a fit the moment somebody try to count your money, the moment somebody tell you to show receipts on how many donations you got from the building fund to build some school. You have a fit the moment anybody asks for any evidence or proof, right? But here you are looking at some millionaire, uh, um, looking at today they business affairs, talking about what they should be spending. Uh, now, you're talking about a widow now, a widow who's not even black, what she should be spending on the black community, okay? Uh, first and foremost, ain't nobody got to spend a dime on the black community, okay? Black folks been here. For over 400 years, we know what we're supposed to be doing, and uh, we continue to choose not to do what we're supposed to do, okay? Period. Point blank. Ain't nobody else to blame. We know what we're supposed to do, and we choose not to do it, okay? Let's just deal with that. Every time a black person, this whole Me Too movement stuff, I told y'all years ago, all this cancel culture, y'all want to ride with the liberals? All this little cancel culture stuff, I told you, was going to come back to bite us in the behind. I told you this. Well, y'all was running around feeling so powerful on black Twitter, canceling everybody. Oh, they throw you a few bones, and then they're going to come right back home. The chicken's going to come home to roost. They're going to take all your black celebrities and ruin them. Every time the Me Too movement come around now, it's a new black man every single day. A new black man get thrown under the bus. Some woman accusing them of doing something to him 20, 30 years ago. And, and guess who pushing the narrative? It ain't white folks. It ain't Asians. It ain't Latinos. It's not Jewish people. Guess who pushing the narrative? It's black folks. Other black people are pushing this narrative. Right? Other black folks as content creators. People just want to come on the internet and gossip. Look what they did to T.D. Jakes. All this work T.D. Jakes has done. Now, just because he counseled Puffy one time and somebody got evidence of him being with Puffy at one point in time, now they got all kind of accusations. Oh, T.D. Jakes was in parties with Puffy. Oh, T.D. Jakes, he's he a dominant bottom, whatever they call it. He's, he's a dominant bottom. Black folks running with this, spreading this propaganda all over the Internet. Now they got Jermaine Jackson. Oh, Jermaine Jackson. Man, guess what, y'all? They got Jermaine Jackson now, y'all. Hey, man, they say Puffy done done this now. Then they say Puffy done done that. Hey, y'all, they say Zion Williams done done this. And they say Zion done done that. Every day is another black man. We can't get y'all Negroes to talk about uh, uh, Josh Giddy. We try to keep that 
going in the media. Don't nobody want to talk about it. Oh, man, come on, man. Let it go. Nobody want to keep hearing about this Josh Giddy stuff, man. They not finna do nothing to him, man. Let's talk about R. Kelly. Let's talk about Michael Jackson. Right? Umar, you of all people know how that go. They got in your business when you was talking to a stripper. They got in all your business as if you wasn't a man. You can't make a mistake. They got in all your business. So forgive me if I, I'm, I'm, listen, bro. I don't care about these ninjas running around here with their hand out, acting like every successful black person owed them something. Don't nobody owe you nothing. So I'm saying? You mean to tell me if I make $10? Bad enough, I gotta give the government half of that. So I'm left for five dollars. But then I gotta turn around and get the black community two fifty, and that leave me with two fifty. This is what this is what you're telling me. No, I'm sorry. Ain't nobody got to do this. Y'all, y'all, y'all ruined Jay Z reputation. I seen some interview, well, well, some video where some guy was trying to say because Jay Z said that he can't stand going around family members running scams on him. Talking about they need $4,500 for this business venture that's going to bring him back a million dollars. And Jay-Z like, yeah, man, that's not how that works. I see Negroes talking about, no, man, see, look at Jay-Z greedy. <laughs> this man a billionaire. Can't even give his family $4,500. That's not what he said. He's not going to be taken advantage of. He's not going to be used. He's not going to be abused. Just because he, he got a billion dollars. Don't mean you can come to him with some kind and he's supposed to let you con him because you want to use him. But that's what thirsty people do. People who feel entitled to your stuff, this is what they do. They think they can take their money, waste it on strippers, waste it on cars, waste it on gambling, and then come to you, the responsible one, and, and clean up the mess for them. Hey, look, uh, Look, man, yeah, I know, bro. Look, I hate to come to you like this, man, but you know, I messed up, man. I need I need six hundred dollars to pay my rent. I know you got it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing six hundred ain't nothing to you. You think you help me out? You might give it to him one or two times. But the moment you say no, you become a sellout. Oh, he acted funny, he acted different. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for it. So I totally disagree with Dr. Umar talking about Vanessa Bryant owes the black community anything or supposed to take her husband, her late husband's money and spread it amongst you Negroes. It's ridiculous. What are you doing with your money? I mean, seriously, let's dissect your money. What are you doing with your money? How much of the donation money did you use to build the school? I mean, if we're going to do that, let's just do that. Open up the books. Open up your PayPal account. Open up your Cash App account. Let everybody uh, break that all that information down. You know what I'm You won't want that, though. See, you, you would have a fit if somebody asked you to do that. But open up your bank account, your Cash App, your PayPal. See, how much donation money... They actually went into building a school. How much did you use for strippers? How much did you use uh, for McDonald's? How much did you use for Wendy's? How much did you use for massages? So on and so forth. You want to take this man personal? This man is a basketball player. Built wealth uh, for his family. He passed away. Leave his wealth to his <laughs> his family, rightfully so. And here come the, the thirsty ninjas. Well, we want some of that too. You're trying to pull a tax move on them. You know what I'm saying? You, you think this the, the, the ghetto mafia. You want to tax her in death. For being married to a black man. So, therefore, let's tax Vanessa Bryant. Let's get Vanessa Bryant to, to, to pay us. So we can go take our money and go do whatever we're going to do with it. Come on, fam. It's ridiculous. I'm, I'm ashamed at this whole situation. This whole narrative is disgusting to me. If black folks want to do, listen, black folks got enough money to 
to do something with our money. We got we got Jay Z, we got Tyler Perry, we got Oprah Winfrey, we got Rihanna, Beyonce, all these people. You want to do something with your money? Come up with a plan and do something with the money. Stop looking for everybody else to do something for black folks what we can do for ourselves. Cut it out. Otherwise, we remain in the position of children. See? We remain in the position of, of, of the have-nots, the needy, the beggars. You understand? What are you doing? And this is like my brother Ticket TV was just talking about. Everybody keep talking about this HBCU stuff. They got a problem with Dion because, oh, Dion left the, eight, the historically black college and went to the white college. Okay, cool. What historically black college did you go to? If you didn't go to one, fine. How much money are you donating every year to historically black colleges? If you're a YouTuber, how, what videos do you do? How many videos per month do you do on historically black colleges? Or was it just when Dion was there, it was hot. So you rode that wave off of Dion. You made your YouTube assets money off of Dion being into Jackson. Right? Come on, fam. I know how this works. It's a whole lot of has-beens, fake pro-black dudes running around this internet talking all this pro-black stuff. But, but you know, listen, man. It's tired now. At the end of the day, Sean Proof. If you ain't finna do nothing, bro, ain't nobody got time to listen to you dudes. Half you dudes got side pieces and, and, and a third chick. You got children out of wedlock, all kind of stuff you guys got going on. But you come on this internet feeling comfortable because don't nobody know your business. You mess around let Tasha K find out about y'all business. Y'all going to be in trouble. Y'all going to be in trouble. You need to sit down somewhere and stop. And just focus on yourself and stop worrying about everybody else's business. Seriously. Seriously. We're not babies no more. Black folks, if we want something done, we can get it done ourselves. All, all it takes is dedication to what we want done. Vanessa Bryant don't hold the keys to the black community. She don't. Kobe Bryant ain't got enough money to feed the black community. And on top of that, from what I hear, Vanessa Bryant and Kobe and them, he got foundations that have been doing a lot of stuff for the black community. But Umar probably didn't know that. See what I'm saying? I really hate to see Umar Johnson become a character of himself. I really do. I, I would hope, I hate to see Umar become a character, like some type of joke, some type of meme, where you're not even taking it seriously no more. People don't use you for memes and how many lashes somebody going to get. And, you know, oh, Sukihana. Oh, here come Umar Johnson. You know, I hate to see you turn into that, bro. But that's what it looks like you turned into. That's, how, that's what it looked like you turned into. So anyway, that's just my opinion. 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop a new video. And I'll be up out of here. Deuces.